everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video so today guys as you all know or for some of you that may not know i just started college um and today's video is just gonna be about the top 10 things that i wish that i knew or advice that i could give before starting college so if you're about to go to college or if you are trying to figure out what you should expect from college then this is the video for you i've only been here for a week so keep in mind that this is only my advice and things that i wish that i knew um off of a week of being here so yeah let's get into the video so the first thing that i wish that i knew um or knew more of is note taking skills when you're in high school nobody really teaches you how to take notes right way to take notes what you should be taking notes on and coming into college is very different because everything is notes you take notes about everything lecture notes versus in high school they may give you like a packet of notes or a study guide but in college your notes are your study guide so the advice that i would give is take good notes always take notes take notes on everything if you have guest speakers take notes on their presentations just always take notes keep good notes but also keep in mind to take notes that work for you you don't have to your notes don't have to be really elaborate they don't have to be a whole powerpoint or anything like that just take notes to where you could memorize and attain the information that you're learning so that when you do have a test or a quiz or whatever the case may be whenever that time comes up you will be prepared because trust me coming into college like in high school i did take notes but it wasn't as necessary to take them in order to succeed in the class as it is in college so i would say if you're not in college already or if you're going to college i would say start practicing good note taking skills and figuring out what best works for you so that you can succeed in your classes the second thing that i wish i knew before coming to college is how to network and good networking skills when you're coming to college or university it may nine times out of ten you may be around a lot more people than you would at your high school you're around you come across thousands of people every day and networking is just as important in college as it is or was for you in high school you may have to make some connections or you may not be aware of certain things and you might come across some people that have knowledge that might be beneficial to you for example when i came for my student orientation i met some upperclassmen and they were very helpful with getting information about student organizations and things like that so i would just say get comfortable with networking get comfortable with talking to people because talking to people and making connections are going to be very important when you start college because that's what it's really all about college is the time where you really start making your lifelong connections and long-lasting connections to whereas y'all might be able to cross paths in the future y'all might meet each other in the future whoever you come in contact with so never be afraid to make connections always network networking is um very beneficial when you're coming into college and it's also going to be beneficial throughout your year of college especially once you start to get to your junior and senior years because then you're starting to get ready for your career of choice so i would say networking is very important the next thing i wish that i knew or worked on is having better social skills and i understand i go through anxiety sometimes and i know that coming from your high school that you probably went to from freshman to senior year or you've been there for at least two years you know everybody everyone knows everyone but when you're going into college and to a university having social skills is very important and it also ties in with networking being able to socialize with people and not just being so isolated not only 
can ease your anxiety, but you can also make friends that way, lifelong friends. You can also, it just makes your experience in college so much better than versus spending it alone. So I would say, don't be afraid to make friends. Everybody, nine times out of 10, is trying to make friends too. We're all coming from different places, different backgrounds, different cultures. And just don't be afraid to make friends. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Just go for it. If people don't like you, then their laws just always be yourself. But don't be afraid to be social. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Just try talking to people. It doesn't have to be um, a race of conversation. It could be something general. You might find that you have some things in common with these people more than you know. The next thing that I wish I knew before coming to college was study habits. I'm sure that many people can relate that in high school studying isn't as necessary as it is in college because in high school things and classes and things that you may learn are very repetitive you don't really necessarily need to study all the time in high school because you have teachers there to constantly remind you about things and all of these activities whereas in college developing study habits are very important different study tools that work for you, figuring out which study tools work for you are just as equally as important as taking notes because once you find out what study habits work for you, maybe you like studying in your dorm or maybe you like to study in a certain area on campus or maybe you like to study where it's quiet, maybe you don't mind studying where there's noise, but it's always good and beneficial to figure those things out before you get to college so that way you're not lost or stuck trying to figure out what works for you or stuck trying to find yourself in the college scene so i would say figure out how you like to study what works for you where you like to study what environments you feel comfortable studying in so that once you get to college you can just flourish and hop into it and already be comfortable with studying and not seeing it as a chore because honestly studying doesn't always have to be a chore it's just all about figuring out what you like what you're comfortable with and what you're willing to put forth your effort into and also just keeping in mind your common goal when you're studying and what you're studying for so this one isn't really a um things i wish i knew but i do want to talk about rate my professor Rate My Professor is a very, very beneficial tool that students should use before registering for classes. So basically what Rate My Professor is, is you can go in, type in the name of your professor and the school that you're attending, and it'll give you what their past or previous students have rated them. And you can see, get a feel for how their class operates what their expectations are before you're registering for these classes so you don't set yourself up for failure so to speak and that you already know what to expect and then once you do that you can better know how you would like to proceed with registering for your classes or you can decide whether or not that whatever their expectations are whether or not you want to deal with them or not whether you can handle it because any advisor can put you in any class, but at the end of the day, you know yourself better. So I would just say, utilize Rate My Professor. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not like you're judging your professor or anything, but you just wanna make sure you have the best experience possible because you are gonna be here for four years. So you just wanna make sure that everything is tailored to you. You wanna make it your own experience. You wanna not dread going to class or worrying about, oh, I don't like this professor because that also can hinder your learning experience and hinder your success in the class. So I would say utilizing Rate My Professor would be very beneficial. Another piece of advice would be to plan your route ahead of time. So if you know you have class the next day, go on maps or whatever you may be and figure out how far it is from where you're staying. Figure out how you're gonna get there, when you're gonna eat breakfast and things of that nature. So for example, my first class is at 10 a.m. So I'll get up about 7.30, uh, 8 o'clock, I'll go eat breakfast. But before that, I'll get myself together, pack my backpack and things like that, go eat breakfast. And then I'll come back and then finish preparing whatever I need for the day, whether I need to bring an extra notebook for something, or maybe you have a project you need 
supplies that you need to bring to class. It's always good to wake up ahead of time and plan out your route so you know exactly how long it's gonna take you to get there. Method of travel you're gonna use to get there, whether it's a bike, a scooter, whether you're driving, if you're living off campus, it's always good to plan your route in advance so you know what to expect and how to better plan your day. And it just overall goes better in terms of getting to class on time and making sure you're not late. And it's very important not to be late because most professors in college, they do attendance assignments and there may be something that you missed and there are lectures and classes don't wait on you to start. No one's gonna wait on you to get there. So make sure you're always on time. I try to be at least 30 minutes early to every class or at least my first class because most of my classes are relatively close to each other but definitely for the first class I make sure I'm about 30 minutes early so I can get to class sit down plan out get out my laptop do everything I need to do maybe I need to check an email or maybe I need to finish up an assignment it's just better to be early rather than late so I would say um, plan your route in advance the next thing that I wish I knew before coming into college was how to um, do type notes or being more familiarized with type notes because in college, most of your professors, they'll ask you to take notes. Sometimes they'll ask you to submit your notes online. So one of my classes for design processing, um, we do type notes because we submit our notes through Canvas and that's the way that professor likes it versus in my other class, we write our notes in our journals and sometimes that may be easier and most students learn how to take notes in their journal anyway. They don't really teach you in high school how to take notes on the laptop because it's not really necessary um, or as necessary. But I would say before coming to college, definitely get acclimated with um, taking notes on your computer, how to take notes on your computer and how you like your notes to be done on your computer. Maybe you like um, charts or maybe you like highlighting and organizing things that way. So definitely get familiarized with taking notes on a laptop or an iPad or an electronic device because technology is a part of learning now. It's becoming more embedded into curriculum now. So I would say that that will be a very important thing to start getting familiarized with so that you don't feel left behind or out of place and that your transition into class is as soon as possible. The next thing that I wish I knew is seat placement. Where you sit in the class matters. I always recommend sitting in the front or close to the front where you have good visualization of the board, where you can hear your professor clearly. Because like I said, um, college classes, it's lecture, lecture notes, and you're gonna need to take notes and it goes really fast. So you're gonna wanna sit in a spot where you can snap a picture if you need to, if it goes too fast, or where you can see the content that's being presented to you so you're not lost throughout the lecture because all of your notes are gonna be beneficial. And in order to take good notes, you wanna make sure that you can see what you're learning. And also I find that sitting in the front, it just, you get a better understanding of the lessons that you're learning. Um, and you just absorb information better. So I would say sitting in the front, even though it may be a little scary or it, some people may be shy, but honestly, in terms of your education, you don't ever be shy to sit, don't ever be scared to sit in the front. I'll sit in the front because at the end of the day, this is your educational journey. This is about what works for you and what is beneficial to your academic success. So I would say picking a seat in the front or close to the front would be very beneficial. Another thing that I wish that I learned before coming to college was better organization skills. College can be very stressful and it can be a lot, but if you stay organized and have a system in place for your work, like having a certain journal for this class versus putting all of your work in one journal or um, color coding, just staying organized overall helps you to visually see what it is that you're doing. It helps you to stay focused. So I would say organization would be very important when coming into college if you're not already an organized person. Me personally, I'm, I 
I, I'm not the most organized person, but I can definitely say throughout my um, first week here in college, as a freshman, I can say that um, it definitely teaches you how to be organized if you're not already organized because it, the way that things are structured, it kind of forces you to be a more organized person. So I would just say, start working on those organizational skills and figuring out what works best for you. Lastly, but not least, I would say the last thing that I wish I worked on before coming to college was communication skills. Communication is very important in college, especially when it comes to talking to your professors because professors they have to present a lot of content in about an hour 35 minute time span hour 45 minute time span so you want to make sure that you build a good relationship with your professors so where you feel like you can talk to them and it's not uncomfortable to talk to them so that when you do need something or if you do need help that you can come to them and it's not awkward or you know what to say and how to say it um how to formulate an email how to address your professors and also talking to professors or making your professors familiarize with you can also be beneficial to your academic success um, because honestly the more you talk to your professors the more likely they are to help you out if you're having an issue so don't um, feel like you're ever bothering them because I promise you everybody that is on campus is here to help that's one thing that I've gathered since I've been in college. Everyone's here to help. Everyone's here for you. Everyone's here to make sure that you succeed and do the best that you possibly can. So definitely don't be afraid to communicate. I would say always have open communication with your classmates or your professors um, so that if you do need something, you don't feel like you have no one to go to and you feel like you're stuck. That is all I have for this video, you guys. I hope I gave you guys some good information. I hope it was useful to you. If there are any other videos that you would like to see on this channel, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do them. Um, like I said, I am in college and as of right now, I don't have a roommate, but um, I do plan on inviting people onto my channel so you can get their college experiences too. So it's not just like you're talking to me because I want different perspectives. Um, or maybe y'all want to hear different perspectives from different people. But um, without further ado, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I drop a video.